Hello everyone, this is the flow which we have created in the previous videos. What this flow does is importing data from an Excel sheet to MS list and from there filtering data per each employee and send them by email. The link for the videos are in the description of this video. If you notice that in the action list rows present in a table, we were using static file name and table name. The issue with this approach is that whenever you are using a different file name or a table name, this flow will run into an error. To avoid this, we have to use a dynamic file name and a dynamic table name. So let's change our flow from manually to be triggered to trigger whenever a file has created in a SharePoint folder. So search for when a file is created properties only, then choose the site address and library name. Then choose that folder where you want to upload the Excel sheet into it. Now let's come back to the action which we want to make the file name and table name dynamic. Before we do that, we have to update the location from the OneDrive to the SharePoint site and the library name where you want to upload the Excel sheet into it. Then for the file name, let's get rid of the static file name and replace it with the dynamic content. So let's search for the folder path. So the folder path should come from when a file is created click on the folder path and then search for the file name with extension and this should also comes from the when a file is created this way we will dynamically select the file name but for the table we need another action to be added to the flow so click on the plus above the list rows present in the table and search for get tables click on get tables so here we choose the location and document library for our Excel sheet and for the file name we use the same way which we used for the action list rows present in a table. So we search for folder path and the file name with extension. Now let's go back to our list rows present in a table and for the table name we get it from get tables action. Before I write the table name, let me explain something. In Excel sheet, if you have more than one table, each table will have a name and in MS PowerPoint, each table will have an index number. The first table will have a zero index number and the second table will have one as an index number and such. So if you want to use the first table, then you have to use zero as an index number. So in the expression, I will write zero, which means I want to use the first table in the Excel sheet. Then open a square bracket and between two single quotation, write name. And then we need a dynamic content. So click in the front of the expression and look for get table, the value. So click on the value from the get table. So click OK. This way we made the table name as a dynamic. And we need a further action to be modified. So I will go to the create items in MS list. As you see, the columns were mapped from the action list rows present in a table. Instead, we have to change this and remap them from another action, which is parse JSON. Before I add the parse JSON action, let's run the flow first. And from the action list rows present in table, copy the value of the output to clipboard. I will tell you why we do that. Then go back to the edit mode. Now let's add new action parse JSON. For the content, choose value from the action list rows present in table. And for the schema, click on generate from sample and paste the code that we copied earlier that I told you. So now we are ready to go edit your action create items in SharePoint and then for the apply to each we use the body of the parse JSON action and then we remap the columns name with the dynamic contained from the JSON action. Your flow is now fully dynamic and ready to go. I hope this video was useful for everybody and see you in my next video.